Now that is why young justice always have been justice and not always young, but always been the young justice of conspiracy. The DC Universe's best, no, 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 not best animated DC Universe show. No, definitely not. Do I still consider Justice League to be the best one? Ah, it doesn't matter. What I'm trying to say is what the DC Universe Young Justice has been among one of the best cheese up shows of the DC. It's the conspiracy. Well, while the conspiracy is infuriating, it is also deeply involved. And this here shows all of that in a nice situation. The Young Justice outside it. Young Justice Season 3 is officially wrapped up. Was it a good season? You know, I'm actually thinking about making a special video in future talking about my my thumbs up and my thumbs down about this season because let's face it there are some thumbs down but it's not necessarily only thumbs down no definitely not there are definitely thumbs up as well the season has wrapped up with a twist and when I say about conspiracy I meant uh, more twist the team of outsiders as well as some Justice League to, this is the angry and I find the despair reviewer giving you this final one. They attack the Baron Bedlam's place. And Baron Bedlam is still powerful enough to deal with all this. And he did indeed come, did indeed wanted to kill his family. But what makes this very surprising is that also Je Lex Luthor and the others are also paying in this situation because they are going to, well, you know, playing the mind game about setting up the Outsiders so the Infinity Link Inc. as well as the registration that they want will get into the, the deal with the situations. But things take an unexpected turn though when um, it's revealed that Terra is ordered by Deathstroke to kill Beast Boy, as we all know. In the comic, Beast Boy tried to charm uh, Terra, but Terra was a sociopath and not interested, so I guess this is meant to be a twist. Also to show the Outsiders. But the biggest twist here is after the team defeat Baron Bendlam, Terra is prepared to do the betrayal we all suspected her to do. But what is the surprising twist? The surprising twist is that the young heroes, Artemis, and everyone who is not Brion and Beast Boy, already knew that Terra was a mole. I mean, my jaw literally dropped when I saw that. That was awesome! It put a new twist on the light situation. It put in the fact that the team are better than you think. You're finding out. And it also once again showed why Batman is a feared vigilante. Because he read the lips of Deathstroke and could actually detect from the lip reading that Deathstroke was lying. But what is the... So, in the end, Terra, thanks to the talk of it all, and also is the fact that the reason why the team didn't go forward with to Terra against immediately, because they wanted to give her a chance and wanted her to find her conscious. So, in the end, Terra abandons the League of Shadow and is willing to pay for her crimes. Of course, Brion, on the other hand, cannot handle this. The fact that he feels betrayed by the very sister he was supposed to have saved. But the biggest twist of this episode comes with the fact that when he has captured Baron Bendlam and he arrogantly says that I will never stop taking the throne, Geoforce kills him. Da, da, da. There is the twist. The twist was that we, we believed that Terra would be the killer. Uh, and Geoforce will, will become very angry. But no! With encouragement from the Ambassador Seely, it is Geoforce that crosses the line. And what makes it even worse 
for GeoForce at least, is that none of the other teammates are supporting him. And speaking of experience, why would they? Geo4, this actually brings another twist to this season. I have said in multiple episode reviews that character development is one of the greatest strengths of Justice League, uh, Young Justice. And many characters went through character development. However, this brings a twist to the character development. We thought Geoforce were actually going through that. He was getting less angry and more even-tempered and even more heroic. But no! His anger got the better of him and he killed his uncle in cold blood. His, don't get me wrong, his uncle was a piece of filth, worse than any filth on the boots ever. But he still killed a family member and he still killed someone. And the team said it, we do not cross that line. And even the lights, so in the end, feeling betrayed by everyone, his sister and the friends he thought he had, Brion observes the throne of, the, of his brother who is not in the place right now and takes over Markovia. A dark twist to the character. I did not see that coming. I did not see Geoforce to become a total jerk, although it does seem that there is um, a bigger twist in the fact. Another twist of the fact is that using Cyborg's technology, oh and by the way, Cyborg has a new suit, and I'm just saying I do not dig his new suit. It looks practically naked. He looks practically naked. Or is it a possibility that he actually is naked? Ugh. I don't know. I don't even want to I don't even want to know. But uh, the fact is using technology, the fact Black Lightning is the one who actually manages to pick a pack on the situation and uh, frame and manage to get evidence on Lex Luthor being involved in Baron Bendelem's thing, thanks to Lex Corp thing. Oh yeah, and by the way, we did see um, Count Du Vertigo, although not so very much. But then uh, Lex Luthor, of course, denies it as a fact. So then the biggest twist for him comes when it's revealed that Superboy appears in the ambassador, giving evidence, as again, also saying that who he is and what he was made to do, but Superman supports the attack. With that, Lex Luthor oh, it has no other choice but to step down as secretary. He is defeated for now, and Troya is in the lead. However, this is not a complete victory for the Team Justice. No, the light still has their little laps, because it turns out the Markovia Embassy Ambassador Servavi or something is actually a member of the light and he has a strange psychic powers that allows a person to embal engulf on their worst impulses so all his talk about when he corrupted Brion to do other things he played on Brion's envy of his brother his anger towards uncle his anger against his sister betraying him as well as the anger of all always wanted to be accepted and in the end manipulated that he even manipulated him to accept back Dr. Helga Jace as an advisor. Infinity Inc. is not over yet. Oh yeah, and the alliance with Darkseid? Still going on after some argument. However, now they both know that Darkseid is seeking the anti-life equation. Halo is a bigger target now than ever. Regardless of the fact that there, this is a victory also for the villains, the biggest awesomeness comes in the end, as they all assemble every single one from many different caves and things, as they call in Black Lightning. Chairman, Aquaman and Wonder Woman resigns from the Le Justice League for all, no, not just League, as chairman, and nominates Black Lightning, the one guy that have been the conscious this season, to do it all. And let me tell you, he pulls one amazing speech. And I have to say, while Black Lightning is far from my favorite, and I actually, to be honest, I also wanted him to have a different voice actor than just Cherry. Don't get me wrong, Cherry is a very, very talented voice actor, but I just felt it felt a little bit um, standard. He pulls an amazing speech about never hiding secrets again, and, and, and the cover team to be learning lessons, and the outsider still there. So yeah, it is here. As that way we see some flashbacks of everything else. 
Uh, Forager officially reveals his alien origin to his class, much to their, well, heartwarmingness. Cyborg is even saying hi to some old college friends. Halo is, of course, of still crushed by uh, Geoforce betrayal. But the biggest surprise comes in the end. And no, it is not the finger of Lobo that slowly actually created a little Lobo. It is a comical scene with Lobo actually blasting the little naked baby and then destroying it. It creates a surprisingly humorous tone, but the tone of the episode, which is kind of dark, seems to suggest it is not meant to be for comedy. But that is not the most important scene of these flashbacks. No, at the scene of Bibo, when everyone is celebrating, it is worth noting that a waitress is serving the team, and she's wearing a ring. I am not a comic book reader, but I am a Wikipedia reader and a TV Truth reader. So what does that ring mean? Well, my friends, it means that ring is symbolizing with the Legion of Superheroes. Ah, yeah. Well, I think we've just gotten a foreshadowing hint on who is going to appear in the next season. The Legion of Superheroes, time travel at its finest, are here. It also, begs, it also creates a nice twist. You know, we were introduced to a lot of children of the superheroes this season. Is this legion of superheroes meant to, well, show these people when they grow up? I mean, granted, however, legion of superheroes is said to be in a distant future, so that cannot be possible. But maybe we will see some legion of superheroes time travel. Maybe they have traveled into the past in order to stop a plan of Vandal Savage. Because now the light, although the light had lost a lot of things, they did win by manipulating Geoforce. And he is now a fallen hero. What awaits us next? I don't know. A dark episode, it is not the best way to end the season, but it's definitely not an end bad one at all. It is also heartwarming the fact that Guy uh, Garner is even praising is even praising the fact that Black Lightning is the new chairman. So with that. The, the team of Justice League, the T cover team, and the Outsiders' bonds are stronger than ever, I think. We are going to get a season four. We do not know when we're going to get it. Probably not in the next until the next two years. But I will look forward to what we're going to expect. Of course, I will try to do a video explaining my ups and downs about this season. But for now, thank you for watching my Young Justice Outsiders review. And give me your thoughts if you have any.